This is your boy Slag, bringing you another Pixelmon Raising Zapdos video. And thank you so much for returning. Now, guys, it, since the last video, which you saw me get beat by Audi from the Poison Gym, I built a new team. And prior to building the new team, though, I did try my luck against the other Poison Gym leaders, trying to figure out what I was doing wrong. And guys, this gym is hard. It is ridiculously, ridiculously hard. I had tried my hand against every gym leader at least once and still got beat. In Adi's case, it was like three times. But anyway, so on to the video. So, by the way, guys, pay attention that I have guy score. Because the guy score is poisoned, but he only, he, he's not holding Toxic Corp. He's holding the leftovers. You know, I had poisoned him before the battle started, but you'll see uh, this plays into the game later on. But yeah, man, having me and Adi haven't fought each other so much, we kind of knew what moves we were going to be using against each other. So he knew I was going to be going for that psychic headbutt. And so he brought out Drapion, which was kind of, you know, risky because I could have gone with Earthquake. But I was anticipating him switching out into uh, Gengar or Gassity or someone. So me and him, we started uh, a little bit of a guessing game. It's like, he's anticipating what I'm going to do, and I'm anticipating what he's going to do. So he's anticipating my anticipation, while I'm anticipating his anticipation, to the point that every time I say anticipation, I want you guys to take a shot, and if you get drunk, don't blame me. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, it's like, we, we, we knew each other a little too well. So I'm thinking to myself, well, Metagross is strong. Gengar isn't known for his physical defense. So no matter what he tosses at me, I know I'm going to survive unless he crits. But unfortunately, it didn't work out as well as I thought, but still pretty damn well. So now, I'm like, hmm, who do I go into? I was like, you know what, let me bring into Zapdos or YouTube me. <laughs> and, ooh, I got a timeout. Problems of pain on the server, right guys? Anyway, I log back in and I'm like, of course. So, now, where were we? Now, I was going to say if the switch went through, or... Then I was like, wait a minute. If I say I was switching and it didn't go through, then he's going to know I'm switching. And if he knew I was going to switch before I switch, then he would counter it. So I was like, let me just... uh Ask where we were. And oh, the switch didn't go through. He still saw Metagross. So I was like, alright, let me bring out Metagross. Let me go with the switch again. Right? You know, go through with what I was already doing. And guys, I just love having renamed Zapdos YouTube me. I was going to be naming uh, the different Pokemon like Happy Birthday Holly and Go Away or Don't Use Poison. But yeah, so I kind of knew that um, once his uh, Scolipede came out, he was going to be going for Protect and Rest. And if he had gone with uh, with the Rock Side sooner, he probably still would have been um, paralyzed. And but he would have taken out Zapdos, and things would have gone different. <laughs> but yeah, so well, maybe not. I don't know. But either way, so I'm thinking what. Well, Zapdos got some speed on him. He should be able to outspeed Scolipede. Nope. Rockslide took down Zapdos. So I'm like, alright, now who am I going to go into next? Now can I bring somebody in who would threaten him out? Flygon. Now he's probably thinking that this was a special Flygon and was going to go with, uh, you know, a uh, flamethrower or something. Because Scolipede's bug. Or maybe it was a flying move. But no, he goes with um, drag, right, with protect again, and not really having anything that can really hurt Flygon, he switches out to Weezing, and then Weezing gets him with the Dragon Tail that was meant for Scolipede, because I was trying to get rid of that speed boost of his, and Scolipede comes out. I mean, come on. But yeah, Scolipede gets paralyzed, he couldn't do anything. Gets hit by the Dragon Tail, and out comes Drapion. It was clear that I didn't want to fight, um, what's-his-face? 
So I decided I'm going to go for a switch. Trying to uh, threaten out his uh, drape me up. And I was like, hmm, well, he's a dark type. Ember's a fighting type. So I'm pretty sure that would scare him out, thinking I have a f fighting move. But he goes for a whirlwind, which knocks Embor out and sends out Metagross, which, all right, I can live with that. So, I mean, hmm, you know what, screw this. Let me get rid of this Drapion. I don't want to deal with any more psychic issues, this, that, and that. So he's probably thinking, all right, he's going to go into uh, Earthquake again. Nope. <laughs> I put that explosion there to annoy the hell out of people. But, my God, Ghastly is just a physical, bulky wall. So, looks like Ollie wasn't expecting it. And, explosion! Yeah, man, explosion. But this gave me a chance because Flygon is scarfed and should be able to outspeed even Scolipede. I, even after a speed boost. So I'm like, but, uh, damn, he went into Embor, and I was kind of hoping he was going to bring Scolipede, but... Now he's thinking, alright, fine. I'm going to switch out, because Flygon's Dragon Ground, which is really u I, effective against Ice, but then I'm not going to switch out, because I'm going to be anticipating him to scare me out and bring in a Ground-type move. Now, little does he know that m most of my guys would not have been affected by it. Boom. You went in for the Ice Beam. I went in for Embor. So that was a good prediction on my part. And he wasn't happy. But this is where it got smart. I go into the Fair Bits, which took out most of his guy's damage. Now Crobat, which had the speed, I used a priority move. That's an egg move. And it was a Sucker Punch or whatever. And it took out his um, Crobat before he could do anything. Now he's thinking, all right, fine. I'm bringing in Nido King. I'm going to threaten him out with Earth Power. Not going to happen. I, even if he hit me with Earth Power, I was still trying to whittle down those hit points, and I got the Sucker Punch off. And now, why didn't you switch? In this case, it was a little too obvious for me. Like I said, me and Ollie know each other. We've fought each other plenty of times. And I really can't wait to fight Ollie after I'm done with the gyms, when I really start challenging players and their teams. And by the way, guys, if you uh, see me, don't don't challenge me. I'm not going to be doing any uh, matches against other players until I'm done with the gyms because I'm just running around with teams which are based around you know the gyms themselves. And by the way, Affluence, thank you very much. YouTube, say hi to Affluence. So I'm like, hmm, who can I switch in and out to? Like, no matter who I use, I could just keep going with Embor Sucker Punch. I want to see if I can hold on to it just a little longer. Now, I was like, hmm. Well, I could go with the sandstorm, but now I'm kind of stuck because that sash kind of prevented me from doing anything else. But it was a good play on my part because I'm like, all right, let me, uh, oh, ooh, the earthquake. Looks like he anticipated Endbor. I was thinking he was going to go with uh, the bug type move, and I would have been able to resist it. So now Flygon, I was like, all right, let me go with the Earthquake. Maybe I can still outspeed him. And he went down. It's cool to pee. But no, no hit points. Something about this ain't right. And I'm like thinking, all right, he's down to one last hit point. Let's go for another Earthquake. And I'm like, but, but he didn't go down. Why didn't he go down? And I'm like, okay, I know the sandstorm's going to kill him off no matter what. And I see he's still here. And guys, this is where Ollie shows you know, his honor as a trainer, as a player, because I knew for a fact that that sandstorm should have killed them. And by the way, for the, the game mo uh, modders, for the moderators of the server... Yo, guys, you see, it's glitched. It should be. It should kill him. It's leaving Pokemon with zero HP. So, you know, it's another one of those uh, glitched moves that should be uh, taken notice of. But you know what? So while I'm saying, yo, can I get a rolling on this? Ali does the honorable thing, and you know, he he 
he stops the battle, which renders uh, apparently uh, renders his um. Oh my gosh, speed of P as I called it. He decides, oh, okay, you know, what? he won't use it anymore, and it either it rendered um, useless because it had zero HP, or he really did keep with his word and didn't use it after this. So you know what, guys? Ollie's a like a really good player. He really has some honor to him, and I really appreciated that. And I end up returning the favor in a little bit because look what happens when we get back to that match. I send out my uh, guy score again. Come on, Ollie, throw the ball. There we go. So the match starts over, and well, guy score is no longer poisoned. I mean, come on, glitchy man, right? Now I'm thinking to myself, well, wait a minute. I could go with the Earthquake, but not... Mm, he should still be poisoned. So now I'm, like, realizing that it, he should have been poisoned when I was about to go for the facade. Now I'm thinking maybe it's just a visual glitch and you can't see it. Because I didn't heal. But yeah, man. Glitchy man. <laughs> but either way, I'm thinking, all right, fine. It's a physical, uh, I mean, visual glitch. Let me go for a facade. And that should be able to do some damage. Oh, no. Apparently, he lost his poisoning. So I was like, all right, fine. We're going to go for the... For the earthquake. And this is where it gets funny. Ollie is saying, wait. And he's like, wait, don't you have Toxic Orb on it? And I was like, no. I poisoned him before coming to the match. Because, guys, that's why I didn't heal when I came to the gym. Usually I healed just because I'm paranoid thinking I might have not healed and somebody's missing a move or something like that. And I was like, no, I poisoned him prior to fighting. And apparently that really got on Ollie's nerves. Because <laughs> that meant that I was able to get advantage of Guy Score's poison heal and be able to use another uh, item on them. So, yeah, guys, that's a legit tactic you can do. But now, Ollie's thinking that, uh, you know, that I had to use, um, like, we had to end the match, and I had to re-poison score. And, you know, I'll be honest, man. I wasn't going to do it. Ollie did me the favor. He's like, you know what? I'm not going to use Speedy on because it's glitched at zero HP. And now he's saying that we have to uh, stop the match again. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, I know I, Ollie is Gandalf, but, man, <laughs> this, this, this back and forth was getting too much. At this point, I was dying. I was laughing. I was like, oh, my God. I can't take this anymore. But I was like, no. Let's just continue. I called a payback for not using I. Speedopede. God, I hate that damn bug. But yeah, so we decide, all right, fine. We're going to get back to the match, continue where we left off. And it starts up once again. And this time I go into Earthquake. Like, let's just let's get this done. And boom. Match over. He's like, why didn't I use Earthquake sooner? Because I, like, I wanted to see if I was still poisoned. Guys, I was risking losing the game just to see if I can get the facade to work. But yeah, so I'm telling Adi, you know, I assumed it was a, a visual glitch, kind of like this time when he was, in the last match when he was paralyzed, which was actually similar to the grass gym. So it looked like we found a, an annoying-ass bug. But yep, neither way, I get the badge, and uh, happy birthday, Ollie. I'm glad on your birthday I was able to hand you your first defeat with the new teams. I don't know how old you are, but I hope you were able to enjoy it. And ooh, Casey opens up the psychic gym just as I'm done with the poison gym. So we know where I'm going. 
but yeah. So it was fun. And she's cake and steak. She's, uh, lol, you beat Ollie for his birthday. But yeah, guys, here we are down in center. Always seems like it's nighttime when I do this, but I got the poison badge. I got the poison badge. And yes, the lag is real. Oh my God. Some of the times train on the server, you got to deal with all the lag and timeouts. But yeah, guys, so I beat Ollie. And I don't know what to say, man. It was a tough battle. But let's go check out the rewards. So, beating the Poison Gym, use the badge on the sign, and you will get uh, Sludge Bomb and Poison Jab. Which means, now that I'm done with the Poison Gym, the Psychic Gym is left. So, psst. Hey, second Jim, I already know who I'm going to fight. I already know who I'm going to mess with. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you.